we got a spicy one for you today, guys. So Andrew Tate just got arrested. We're going to see what he got charged with. And also, guys, also we're going to be seeing his reaction when he gets out of jail. Oh, let's get into it. And then, while it might sound familiar, this is not old news, this is new news. Romanian police have just conducted fresh raids on Andrew Tate's house. And according hey, to yo. Romania's anti-organized crime agency, these raids were a part of the investigations into allegations against the Tate brothers, which included those of human trafficking, the trafficking of minors, sexual intercourse what? with a minor, influencing statements, and money laundering. With there reportedly being dozens of officers searching Tate's property at the edge of Bucharest, and the agency saying that hearings will be held later on at their headquarters. And then, So, I'm going to say this. Andrew Tate gets arrested, right? But the first time he got arrested, they they kind of charged him with the same thing, but then they didn't find anything. So they're going again to see if they can find something. If they already okay, so like if they already come into your house one time, do you really think that you're gonna keep the evidence? You see what I'm saying? If he was already guilty the first time, right? Why? And then you guys couldn't find anything. Why do you think he's gonna keep evidence in his house? It just doesn't make any sense. In my opinion, I don't think he's guilty unless something comes up and they like actually show what he did. But I don't know. I think it's a little weird how they keep trying to press him, press him. I don't know if maybe the government is just trying to press him out of the country. Like eventually if they drop the charges, they just want him out because all this is just way too much for no reason. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Put in the comment section. Maybe he did something. You see what I'm saying? This is you had Team Tate confirming the raid with their spokesperson saying, although the allegations in the search warrant are not yet fully clarified, they include suspicions of human trafficking and money laundering. The brothers' legal team is present to ensure that all formalities are carried out correctly. And while that statement didn't address the bit about minors, Tate himself, mm. on the other hand, did, saying on X, the quote, minor they are talking about is 24 years old. But because she first followed me years ago when she was 17, they say I intended to traffic her, what? even though I literally did nothing to her and we've been friends for years. Matrix attack and in an apparent response to the raid he said the matrix is real and they have a tried and true playbook slander is their number one tool and the process is the punishment but saying unfortunately for them good always wins in the end and adding nine hours into the house search and an armed police officer looks at me apologetically and shrugs his shoulders he said quote you've made somebody very angry but with all this i'll say there's wow. not a lot of information available right now so we're gonna have to keep our eyes on this especially as we so okay so this is gonna be the end of it um i'm gonna be, i'm gonna say is like, wh who did he make angry? Andrew Tate says that he made someone angry. So I feel like he he might have done something to hurt a politician's feelings or someone that's very high in the government's feeling. That's what he's saying. That's I don't know. Put in the comment section if you know. I don't think so. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weird. But I'm going to say shout out to Philip Franco for the first part of the video. But we're actually going to be moving in into basically Andrew Tate. He's going to be talking. After, this is after he gets out of jail. So... The judge basically says they have nothing on, or they're, they're he's actually waiting for court. But they basically, they say they have nothing to like keep him in jail, so they're gonna let him go. So now he's still gonna have a court case, but let's see his reaction out of court. He's actually gonna be talking to the press. Let's watch. So good news: the Tate brothers have actually been released now, and they're on house arrest as we still await to go to a trial. And it seems that more people were taken into court today. Yeah. Let them free. I moved to Romania 10 years ago, mm. and I found an amazing country full of beautiful people, and I told the whole world about Romania. If you mention the name Romania anywhere in the world, they'll say, Andrew Tate lives there, Andrew Tate lives there. I've done nothing but promote this country. I've done nothing but say fantastic things about Romania endlessly. Sheesh. And when I did this, people would say to me, if Romania is so nice, if it's so safe, it's so beautiful, why has it got such a bad reputation? And I said, well, there's probably a few bad actors, a few bad people who destroyed the entire oh, reputation. Oh, oh, oh. Like the few fools at DCOP who just came along and told us that the mothers of our children are somehow human trafficked. Tate is about wait what that's kind of weird why would someone that you pay for like you you care is part of your family be human traffic that does not make no sense but let's keep watching let's go in even more and explain what happened but even the mother to their kids are being dragged in and being accused of being victims now that's why i've been nice i've been patient i played the game i've respected the judiciary i've gone to every appointment on time wow but they bust in my house again 
and now have come along saying there's 35 victims. You know all 30 of those girls, 30 of them, have statements in our defense. 30 saying we've done absolutely nothing wrong. Two, uh, two more are the mothers of our children. And two more have never even been to Iranian. They've never even been here. They just found random girls we knew in other countries and made them sign pieces of paper. This is a setup. It's absolutely disgusting. Fair play to that judge who saw through the bullshit and let us free. Oh, Wow. So I'm going to say this before he moves on. They didn't have any evidence to basically hold him in jail, but they're going to still try to make a case. You can see how tense his brother's face is. You see what I'm saying? You can see how he's like, bro, this is like literally like they have nothing on me. And I, and, and I would be frustrated, bro. Like one, they go into your house. They can't find anything, bro. If you didn't find like nothing the first time why would they keep evidence in their house it just doesn't make any sense why would they keep evidence in the place they live if if, if someone is going to do a bad thing wouldn't they keep evidence outside of where they live you see what i'm saying out of a place where no one knows about why would they keep evidence inside their house and they've already tried searching his house once it just doesn't make any sense but let's keep watching and also, one more thing, the media is complicit, all of you are. Mm. When they first threw us in fucking jail, when they first put us in there, you're all running around saying human trafficker. None of you said, where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Where's the pictures? Where's the videos? None. Three years later, they do the same fucking bullshit. And you're all sitting there going, human trafficking. I'm not a human trafficker, clearly. If you human traffic someone, there is evidence. This is a setup, it's a stitch up. The three prosecutors at DCOP in my house, I said, why are you here? There's no case. They said, there's a case if we make one. This is a Ooh. fucking setup. All of it is. And, and listen, quiet, quiet. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you, sir. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. This, this is a setup. It is done on purpose, wow. and it is designed to come up with the most heinous possible crimes to slander our name. And every single Romanian citizen should be disgusted that they are spending millions of euros wasting their time trying to put innocent men in jail instead of fixing the roads, fixing the hospitals, fixing this country. You have a beautiful country full of beautiful people, and three idiots, a decal, have fucked everything. As for money laundering, sure, I'll approach that. Money laundering, no problem. Supposedly, we're money launderers because we buy luxury goods and we try and hide that we buy luxury goods for other people and hide our money. If you, I don't think he hides. I don't think he hides luxury goods. Do you think he hides luxury goods? I don't think so. I feel like Andrew Tate actually, he actually like shows his flaunt. He flaunts his wealth. He literally has private jets. He actually gets in the sports cars and he does a whole bunch of stuff. So like, I kind of feel like it's kind of weird how the government keeps trying to take him down. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe they have evidence. Maybe they have stuff that we have no idea. But like what I see right now is like basically it's just them trying to torment him. I feel like they're just trying to get him out of the country. I feel like they're after this, all this is over. They just want him out. They don't want him in the country. But I feel like he brings press for people to come to Romania because Andrew Tate lives there. Some famous guy. But at the same time, I feel like they're kind of bringing a negative status of Romania. Put in the comments section, you think I'm wrong, but like, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. All this stuff's going on. Let's keep, let's keep watching though. Buy your girlfriend a handbag in Romania. Okay. They charge you with fucking money laundering. This is disgusting. It's disgusting. We have children. This is disgusting. Thank you. Wow. The Sun has said that Andrew Tate has been placed on house arrest in a shock turn over fresh allegations, including trafficking and intercourse with a minor. His brother Tristan has meanwhile been freed after the pair were detained and grilled mm. overnight on Wednesday. It seems like their items, like their cars, were getting seized once again as well. And a Tate spokesperson said exclusively to the Sun, Andrew Tate is under house arrest for 30 days, whilst his brother Tristan was free, so he can still leave. Andrew okay. had been allowed to travel with in Romania prior to his arrest. The spokesperson said Andrew Tate has been placed under house arrest and his brother Tristan under control in a decision issued by the judge at Bucharest Court today, August 22nd at 7 30. That's insane. They won't take that bad to the point the Romanian's Minister of Justice, an important person in government, spoke on Andrew Tate. I have a lot of faith in the activity of the system because the Tate brothers' case is handled by DICOT. I have wow. to tell you that DICOT does, in general, an extraordinary good job. You challenge me to comment on particular cases. I will not comment on them, but crimes relating to pimping, trafficking, minors and human trafficking are very serious crimes is what she had said i would like to believe that the institutions in romania are prepared to treat 
regardless of the public status of the person, regardless of the material condition, and regardless of how influential he is on TikTok, on Instagram, to treat him properly. If he's committed the crimes, to prove that those crimes are committed by them and that they received the punishment they deserve from the court, said the minister. It's obvious, Andrew Tate has been attacked by the media constantly and see this coming. This is one of the most recent videos just before he got arrested, and he was talking about how the media twist things and manipulate you and why they get funded so much. Before we get into that, the freaking one of the highest positions in the government is saying that they 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 say we have based not saying we have evidence but we are in trust of them prosecuting him and basically making him guilty that is bad that is really really bad but there's no evidence so there's still no evidence prosecuting andrew tate and then went into his house again bro so it's weird how they say like we have it like basically they're saying we have a case we will prosecute you we we know that you're guilty you see what i'm saying but they have no evidence so like i said maybe he like he said he pissed off someone high in the government high 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 in the government and they just want to take him down for anything or two or two he's actually guilty but i feel like it's the first one i don't know if it's the second one it's it's kind of crazy this is done primarily via the mainstream media because understand, nobody pays for the mainstream media. Nobody buys it. Nobody wants to consume it. The only reason it even exists, the reason governments invest so heavily in trying to force it down your throat is because they use it as a tool to reinforce their agenda mm. and to push their lies upon you. Along with the circus of mass entertainment, the goal is to keep you placated long enough for them to continue to steal and wow. enslave you. The truth is the truth because it is the truth. And there's too many people who are concerned with how they feel once they see something. If you use your eyes to come to conclusions with basic pattern recognition, some of those conclusions will be misogynistic, some will be homophobic, some will be racist, but they use these words to scare everybody into coming these con to these conclusions. So instead, people see things with their own eyes and they're scared to accept these realities because of how they feel about what they see. You should be interested in the truth because of what it is. How you feel should have absolutely nothing at all to do with it. And this wow. empire of lies is only kept afloat by the people who are so morally repugnant that they are concerned with only feeling happy with themselves or other people thinking they're good people as opposed to being interested in the truth itself as truth is a disinfectant. People who sit and want to be seen as a good person, do-gooders, people who are afraid of being seen as the bad guy, these are the worst people in the world because they're the people who betray their common man turn on the people next to them and aid the elites in this constant endless enslavement and plundering ah that's that's crazy and, and this is the thing him saying this is threatening you see what i'm saying he's threatening basically he's threatening the government would i ever say this heck no you like you gotta comply in what the government says. If you're if they charge you for something that you're not guilty, I understand. You see what I'm saying. But if the government says to do something, I'm gonna do it, bro. Because I don't like I don't like fighting no one. I don't like I don't like getting in the government's business. I don't like doing any of that stuff because it's very dangerous, super dangerous. You do not fight the government. You do not go after him. You will you abide by the laws and you keep going. You stick to yourself. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like this. Him saying this, not good, not good. It's it's really bad. Do I think Andrew Tate is a terrible person? No. Do you, do I think he did those things? No. But like, you should never say this. You should never say this. Oh my gosh, this is probably why he got raided. <laughs> Everything they are trying to convince you of, they are trying to convince you of because it benefits them. Wow. The rules are made for the people who make the rules. They're not made for you. The information they tell you is never important. It is designed to placate and enslave you. They do not want you to be informed. They do not want you to know anything that is important. And please also understand the police, the politicians, the judges are as fallible and morally repugnant as everybody else. For the same reason you do not want an average person on the street in charge of your life is the same reason you do not want these people in charge of your life because they have their own agendas and they are fallible and they will sell out for their own personal interests above the idea of honor or duty or courage or God. So I would have to say this. It is kind of hard for the government to keep information out because if it's bad information, it will eventually get out. 
they can monitor certain things, but at the same time, people will just keep posting clips, be posting clips until a bigger news source has gotten a hold of it. So I kind of disagree with that. I feel like, yeah, they can try to hide things, but it's very, very hard for the government to hide things on social media. Put it in the comment section if I'm wrong, but it's super hard for the government because like they can censor certain things because they don't like I think the government does good, too, because like they can censor certain things like like death. You see what I'm saying they can censor shootings like people shooting each other and stuff. And th there are videos that still get out there. But they can censor like beheadings and and a whole bunch of other stuff that's not allowed um, that's not allowed on YouTube. It's not allowed on social media because they want to censor it because of children and, and they don't want gory stuff online. You see what I'm saying? So like they need to realize, I, I, I disagree with that a little bit, Andrew Tate. I feel like it would be hard for them to hide certain things because people eventually will get the truth. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. Um, but that's just me because the truth always comes out. You see what I'm saying? Mo most of the time, 99% of the time, there's always that exception, but I kind of disagree with that point. We've entered a post-truth world. Truth has now become subjective. Mm. Two plus two does not equal four. Two plus two can equal five if it makes somebody feel good enough about it. We no longer know what a man and a woman is. We no longer believe that men and women should have children. We no longer believe that men should protect society. We no longer believe in any of the core tenets that allowed us to get here in the first place. Things have been the exact same way since the dawn of human time and for the last few years they've been changing. Some people call this progress. I would argue it's a reversion. I would argue that we have no idea where society is headed and we can mm. follow the basic trends using pattern recognition. We can see it is headed down. It is your job every day as a person to look for the truth and regardless of how it makes you feel, it is the truth because truth is the ultimate disinfectant. And in this empire of lies it is what they fear most. They need to keep everybody confused and they need you believing in a version of reality which simply is not true so you can self enslave, so you can aid them in your self-immolation as you destroy your spirit and soul and destroy your free will the last stream before you wow i would i would have to say this i would have to say this do i agree with all his statements yo shout out to uh festify you're the best brother i'm gonna you guys if you guys have not subscribed turn your notifications on um please guys please uh, please go follow him. Please like his content. But I'm going to continue my statement. If you guys think, or not statement, I'm going to say, sorry, not statement, not statement. My theorization, it's not a statement. Uh, I apologize. My theory, my theory, because I we do not make statements on this channel. I feel like it's kind of weird. He says all this type of stuff and then he gets arrested. I feel like he shouldn't be saying this type of stuff. Do Does he have some points in what he's saying? I'll say a little bit, but it's just kind of weird that he's like fighting against an entity that's trying to protect us. Like the government, they try to protect us. You see what I'm saying? Like, I think, are there bad people in the government? Yes. There's always bad people in every single government. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, there's also good people. There's also good people in government and they try to do the best for the American people. So for the American people, for the Jordanian people, for, for any government, you see what I'm saying? There's always good and bad clashing against each other. You see what I'm saying? Yes, there's corporate entities that have a lot of money and they they pay senators to lobby certain things. You see what I'm saying? Okay, but there's also good people in the world that lobby certain senators to do certain things. You see what I'm saying? So like Everything like goes back and forth. It's like a shift, like left and right, left and right, left. But it always kind of stays in the middle. Sometimes the right wins and then the left comes back and then puts it back into the center. So like you guys, you guys got to realize that um, what he said was kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Um, And it's insane. Like it's, it's all this stuff is insane. Put in the comment section. What do you guys think about this? Cause like this, this kind of blew my mind a little bit. You see what I'm saying? But like, I I just I just don't feel like Andrew Tate made the right decision. And like, you do never, you never, you never threaten a government entity. That is the worst thing to do. <laughs> you never do that. I and I understand what he's upset. He got mis 
he he's he says he's innocent we we think he's innocent they're gonna try maybe they're gonna try again and try to get him guilty maybe they found some new new evidence that we don't know they're just writing a sound to see if they can get more evidence they they but they didn't have enough to keep him in jail so i i i don't know i don't know if it's an attack i don't know if he's right you see what i'm saying about them trying to misprosecute him but like what he did was very wrong. He basically disrespected the government for, for from like where he lives. You see what I'm saying? You never do that type of stuff. Like you never threaten the government. They're gonna they're gonna get mad. It's um I understand why he did it because he's tired of all the bull crap, but at the same time, I would just like I would prove that I'm not guilty, not really say anything about it, and keep moving on. You see what I'm saying? Because like that's how you should do it. Like if you threaten someone, they're gonna they're gonna get upset. They're gonna get upset. But shout out to Investify UK. Thank you so much. You make amazing content. Your news content is insane. Um, I'm actually gonna put this in the bottom of my video as well. I see that you did this, especially when it comes to news and stuff. We definitely need to do this. Um, but shout out to Vestify again. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have not liked, comment, and subscribe, please do that. Um, please follow the people that I react to. You see what I'm saying? Please follow Philip DeFranco. Please follow Festify UK. Give them a follow before you give me. All I'm doing is giving you my guys' opinion. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.